So do TV crews know that the show they're working on is garbage? Yes, but it's complicated. So for like movies or TV pilots, it's a little bit different because it hasn't already been out into the world. It hasn't really been proven yet. And so you don't really know. You can sort of just guess. Uh, my big belief is, again, the script is sort of the high watermark of the production. And so if the script is a 10 out of 10, the production has the capacity to make a 10 out of 10 movie or TV episode. But, um, you know, if it's a two, good luck breaking through the two barrier on that. Uh, but short of that, you know, if, if the show is out there, if the show is established, if there's already people watching episodes, the crew knows. Um, and even if the crew doesn't pay attention, even if the crew doesn't watch the actors saying the lines or anything, um, just being out in the world, if somebody finds out you work on a show and they've heard of the show, they're going to tell you their opinion of it. And so even, even if you're just on location somewhere, just out in the, out in, you know, wherever, and somebody walks up and goes, what is this production? You say it's the name of your production and they, and they know that they've watched it. They'll let you know whether or not they like it. So yes, there's no, there's no confusion about, uh, the opinion or at least the public's opinion of what the show is specifically, but ultimately it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, if you're working on the show, if you're, if you're, uh, either, either a long-term person or just a day player, you're already, you know, contracted to be there. So it doesn't really matter. You know, it's, it does sort of matter in the idea that getting renewed, having the show continue on for other seasons, that would be nice because then you don't have to go find another job, uh, once the show ends. But short of that, yeah, like the, the, the artistic merit of the show is, is really no business of the crews, honestly, except for the creative departments and the producers. And so they're the ones that have the ability to change things. But if you're just crewing, if you're, if you're a lighting person or a grip or a PA, it's really not up to you. Um, and they're definitely not looking for outside input on that, uh, to be clear. Uh, again, you know, movies or, or pilots of episodes where the stuff hasn't been seen yet, you, you won't really know. I mean, the, I feel like the editors and the post-production people, they know because they see everything. Um, but you don't really know until, you know, the, the show or the movie gets tested somewhere. But if the show's out, yeah. Everybody knows. Um, yeah, I feel like there's certain people, it's in their best interest to sort of willfully not know. Uh, I would put actors in that category. I would put certain producers in that category. Um, and even the writing staff, you know, the, when it comes to TV shows, the tone of the show and the quality of the writing is really dictated by the showrunner and the pilot uh, script that was sold to the network or studio. So it's, it's kind of not even really up to the showrunner at that point, although it kind of is. And so, you know, from the case of somebody who uh, they're a creative person that may have influence over the quality of the show, uh, it's, it's more like a learn to love the product than it is actually try to make meaningful change because unless the network says we need meaningful change because otherwise you're getting canceled, full steam ahead. The train's already left the station, you know, but when it comes to crew members, when it comes to just regular people who work on TV shows, especially, um, they know, but again, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. So, all right. Um, yeah, I guess I'll cap this off by saying, I don't think filmmaking, I don't think storytelling, especially is this thing that only some can do. I think if you want to inject yourself, I think if you want to be part of it, that's totally great. That's awesome. More, more better, more better for everybody. Um, but I do think of storytelling, especially as a language. And so you do kind of need to work on your language with the intent of having a lifelong pursuit of fluency. And I think that's all we can really hope to hope to ask for or hope to get. So, uh, see you next time.